Hello everyone, Lock Garden Bird Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video and today I want to talk about why you should not plant tropical milkweed. So let's jump right into it. I pray for my holy southern please God give them strength. So you guys know I love myself some monarch butterflies. Y'all know that is my, oh my God, when I finally see one this year, I'm going to have a fit. I love myself some monarch butterflies. So I want to do everything I can to make sure that we just keep them off the endangered species list. Um, the last time I checked, they were on route for being on the endangered species list i'm not sure if they are there yet but i know that they were this close to being on the endangered species list so um i try to put all the information i can to try to help them from being on that list um, and i know i'm not the only one but um tropical milkweed uh, i know there are a lot of growers out there that love this tropical milkweed i you may be actually growing tropical milkweed and you may not even know it like i bought this milkweed last year from home depot and it is marketed as butterfly weed but if you look at it the scientific name if i can get it to come into focus same thing so, tropical milkweed is actually being sold in big box stores. So, um, it's being marketed as butterfly weed, but as you can see here, it's tropical milkweed. And the reason that, and just to give you some information, like I said in my um, um, ladybug video, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description box. I'm a researcher. I research and research research and I do have tropical milkweed in my garden but what I do and if you do have tropical milkweed and because last year that was the only kind of milkweed that I can get um, I didn't know about some of these sources that I found this year um, so this year I have a lot of swamp milkweed um, butterfly weed the hello yellow butterfly weed the orange butterfly weed um, just milkweed that is coming to my area and I'm growing them from seed so I can phase out all the tropical milkweed that I have and like last year um, this was the only milkweed that I, that I had to attract the monarch butterflies and what I did was I actually cut it back in I think August or I think I cut it back in August or September um, and I'm going to explain to you why I did that so if you do by chance have this milkweed or this butterfly weed um, scientific name if you have this if you got it from home depot you do not have this butterfly weed you have milkweed uh you have tropical milkweed just to show you the difference the scientific name for butterfly weed is this so that is the difference so um if you see the scientific name of this that is tropical milkweed but if you see the scientific name of this then you have actual butterfly weed so that is the difference um and it's kind of disgusting and misleading that the companies will do this and it's, it's really frustrating um because a lot of people don't know this and it's it's more and it's endangering the monarch butterfly even more even though we're trying to actually help the monarch butterfly we're actually hurting them even more and um just to explain that why is because so what the native milkweed does in the area is the native milkweed it actually dies back and the tropical milkweed does not with the tropical milkweed not drying back dying back is it, you, it, you may hear you may see it called um mexican blood flower or tropical milkweed what the tropical milkweed does is it does not die back and it triggers the monarch butterfly to go into reproduction mode instead of migration mode and with it going into migration mode it actually ends up staying uh, or migrating a little bit later than it should and it ends up getting stuck in areas where it gets too cold or it doesn't make the migration back to mexico doesn't make the migration to mexico and also when the um there's a parasite that can live on milkweed Ooh, I'm gonna try to say this. There's a parasite called Ophriocystic Ophriocystic Electroscira. And it's um, OE for short. 
I struggle to say that. Y'all know I can't talk. Um, OE for short. From now on, we're just going to say OE and I'm going to put it up here. But um, it is a parasite. And that pure parasite builds up on the milkweed. And if that milkweed does that, and that parasite, the good thing about it is when the milkweed dies back, that parasite dies back with the milkweed. Yeah, it dies back with the milkweed. But if the milkweed does not die back, if the milkweed does not die back, then the parasite doesn't die back. And what the parasite does, it feeds on the monarch butterfly. And so when you get this parasite in the leaves of the milkweed and those beautiful caterpillars are eating the um, milkweed that's infested with this parasite, those caterpillars, they get it. The butterfly, and I'm gonna put pictures of the butterflies, what they look like trying to come out their, their, their um, chrysalis and what they look like trying to fly. With this, it actually, um, Reduces their body mass, lifespan, mating success, and flight ability. So when they get this parasite and they try to fly away and make it back west or make it back um, to Mexico, they don't make it because of this parasite. So if you are growing um, tropical milkweed, even if you live in Florida, Texas, Arizona, these places like this, you are not helping the monarch butterfly. You are only hurting them. And if you are growing it and you're not cutting it back, you are hurting them. And I know that um, a lot of people, it's been shown that the monarch, monarch butterfly prefer the tropical milkweed as opposed to other milkweed. Of course they do because the tropical milk, milkweed, it grows in Mexico. That's where they, they are, come, they're native to, to Mexico. That's where they come from. You know, that's where they overwinter in Mexico. You know, it's called the Mexican butterfly. Of course they love it. The leaves are more tender, they love it. But it's only hurting the monarch butterfly. It's not helping the monarch butterfly. It is hurting the monarch butterfly. Especially with you not cutting it back. Yes, it lasts longer. But if you're not cutting it back and, and getting rid of that parasite and letting those new leaves come, then you are actually hurting the monarch butterfly. Because it, and again, because it grows so long, then it begins to confuse them. And even though it's hot in your area, let's take for instance, let's take Florida for instance, okay? It may be really, really hot in Florida, and that milkweed is growing in Florida a certain time of year, but that monarch has to go through other parts of the the um the world. I'm I'm sorry, the other parts of the country to try to get to Mexico. So it may have to come up through Georgia, or it may it, where it's cooler temperatures because it spent more time in Florida where it was warmer. And that milkweed should not have been there. That tropical milkweed should not have been there during that time. It spent more time there. Um, it got confused with breeding instead of, hey, I should be migrating right now because that tropical milkweed confused it with breeding instead of, um, that tropical milkweed confused it with breeding instead of um, migrating when it tried to take that trip through Georgia or through Alabama, it was a little bit too cold for it and it couldn't make it. So yes, we're trying to do what we can to help the monarch butterfly. But when we grow tropical milkweed, we actually hurt the monarch butterfly. And I didn't know this for a while. I didn't know this for, for a while. I thought I was helping, but then when I find out, I'm like, okay, I need to do something about this. I need to do something. So the first year, what I did was when I found out about the tropical milkweed, um, I cut it down in, uh, I can't remember if it was August or September, but I cut it down um, in August or either September before it started getting cold. Before the fall hit, I cut it down. Um, this year I still have some tropical milkweed growing, but I also have, I also purchased um, native milkweed, um, pink swamp milkweed, white swamp milkweed, hello yellow um, milkweed, and the, um, butterfly weed from seeds that I'm growing so I can phase out all the tropical milkweed and if you don't know what the tropical milkweed look like, looks like um, let me show you what it looks like so this here is what tropical milkweed looks like and like I said I'm very transparent with you guys this is in my yard I'm growing it But I also have 
containers here where I'm growing different types of milkweed over here got some more milkweed in these containers over here growing and I also in my boat garden have milkweed sprouting up here all these milkweed seeds like I told you the front of my boat is going to be a milkweed garden you can see all these milkweed seeds just sprouting up yep all these are milkweed seeds just coming on up and I have one another tropical milkweed plant right there but like I said I got even more milkweed seeds coming up so I can get rid of my tropical milkweed and those are some milkweed plants I just plant, transplant the other day they're trying to come back and those are some milkweed plants that I transplanted the other week and those are some that I transplanted the other week these three right here these four I think are tropical milkweed I'm gonna pull those out and that's more tropical milkweed and that's coming out once the other ones sprout up yep I see I'm not gonna lie I'm I believe in being 100% transparent and um, I have it growing in my yard and um, I didn't know at first and once I did find out I started cutting it back to keep the parasite from living on there and to keep the monarch from getting confused when they came through in the fall and um, so I'm gonna do the same thing this year but as you can see I have a lot of milkweed um, seedlings popping up and transplant plants and I have another batch of seeds um, in the mail that's coming and I'm just gonna have a whole bunch of milkweed and I won't need tropical anymore so I'm really excited about that so I'll be able to phase out all this tropical milkweed and I just uh, in down in the description box I will put sources um, down in the description box where you can research and see what kind of milkweed is native to your area and um, sources where you can actually purchase seeds and even um, ways that you can grow your milkweed from seed yourself and um, yeah because that's the best way to do it because if we're trying to save the the monarchs um we need to do it the right way and i know if you're anything like me you bought milkweed that you saw in the store thinking that you were doing the right thing like none of us want to hurt um the monarchs but you know i found out this information so i'm just passing along and sharing it along with you guys and i hope you take it to heart i hope no one takes it make, takes offense to it or think that i'm being critical because like like you can see i i still have it growing in my yard um but i am taking the steps that i need to take to get rid of it um and like even last year i took the steps that i need to take and no i mean i didn't want to cut down my i mean look at that milkweed that milkweed is beautiful I don't want to cut that down and I don't want to pull it up. I don't want to get rid of it. But in order to, um, you know, be on this task, what we say we're going to do is say the monarch in order to do that, they got to do what I got to do. So, um, if this is all you have, like that's all I had last year, cut it down, cut it down when the summer, you know, before the summer's out, when it's time for the monarchs to come through, I looked online, I see to see, you know, when the monarchs came through, um, for the fall migration, um, and I think they came through in like September. And so I cut it down. It was either August or September, I can't remember. But I cut it down before they came through because I didn't want to confuse them. And if you're gonna do that, then, you know, be responsible with it. But, you know, even this year, so I won't forget, I'm just gonna completely phase it out. Gonna phase it out. That's the best thing to do. But you guys, I thank you so much for watching and sticking here with me. And um, just let me know what you think. And thank you so much guys for watching as usual. Toodaloo.